Lewis are in for a treat tonight as front runners Bruce Wayne and Lex Luthor face off at the annual Man of the Year award ceremony. Yes, it's Gotham's very own Playboy Slickshot Games here with a new review on the newest installment of the Lego Batman series, Batman 2 DC Heroes. The game takes Batman and Robin into Gotham's underbelly, fighting against infamous villains such as Joker, the Riddler, and Two-Face. Been there for you, one man who has made it his mission to improve the lives of people around him. He has remodeled up. The voice acting is not bad, and the shiny, sleek graphics adds a nice effect. The game is basic in its controls, just like any other beat em up game. You can use a series of different tools and weapons as Batman or Robin to defeat villains or enemies. In some situations, you can work together with Robin to complete obstacles that stand in your way. You can switch between them at any time. Batman 2 is fun, but only for a little while. The game offers nothing new game-wise, and the game lacks creativity. Also, I noticed glitches like these during the game. Not good. Now. I liked how they brought all the villains together, and some of the Joker's lines were clever, but unfortunately, the game offers no hints on what to do next, and leaves the player confused and just punching things to see what to do next. Now don't get me wrong, if you're a gamer you can fly through the levels, but if you're a beginner, that's an issue. After each mission, you unlock things, and you could see how many LEGO pieces you picked up during the level. Gotham City looks nice, but this game is not anything new, and quite frankly, I don't know why they keep making new LEGO games. The game is fun for about an hour tops, and I like the graphics, but the lack of cre creativity, freshness, and sudden glitches really sinks the game. Batman 2 gets a 6.5 out of 10. <laughs>